Well, again, this will be another nice, uh, interesting contrast. Of course, you know, as, as we mentioned earlier, those California schools, they play with a, with a shot clock. They don't waste a whole lot of time offensively, uh, whereas, on the other hand, uh, you know, teams like St. John's Prospect Hall, formerly, you know, they will take their time. They, 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 oftentimes they will, uh, you know, slow, slow it down and, uh, and get into real offensive sets here. So it would be interesting to see how these two match up. It's Mesherikov along with Wiffy. And it's going to be controlled by Horizon, bringing things down to point. Be number 25, Monique uh, Marquis Carter. On their side of the floor, backing up to a man is Prospect Hall, getting up uh, to J Julius Anderson. Round the horn, back up to Carter. Carter will handle the ball most of the time. Horizon try to get it down inside the Whiffy. They do get inside the Whiffy for the layup, makes and that's a good start for Whiffy because he's really been struggling this uh, in, the, in, the, in this in this classic. Two to nothing, the advantage Horizon now. Here come the Vikings. That's Trav Trayvon Van will have the basketball to the high right side. Looks, drives underneath and in, and so the teams trade baskets to get things started. Nate, it looks like it might be a battle of the Titans. Some of these teams have huge men on their teams, six, seven, and higher. Well, here's Whiffy up top. Yeah. He's over to Carter for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound. Comes down to the hands of D. Mincy as he pops in 12. Mincy. No, he gets it over to the outside, over to Greg Hunt. That was a three. So 6.49 left, 5-2, to two, the advantage now. St. John's. Comes Kyle Jones with the basketball to Carter. Back to Jones in between the circles. Looks over to Walker. Back up, Jones, three-pointer, top of the key, off the iron, no good. And the rebound comes down to Roy Comer. Leading up the floor, Masherikoff, and he has the ball knocked away from him, out of bounds. That's the uh, last touch by Julius Anderson. Striking uniforms these Horizon guys have. All black, red with a, just a pinch of white. On the inbounds, Comer. Gets it over to D. Mincy, who drives, puts it up, no good. Foul called underneath. Bounced off the head of yeah. uh, uh, Mishera Cole. Yeah. Got to study that name here for a couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sound like a hockey player. He is a big <laughs> fellow. Here's Carter. Hands off Julius Anderson. Horizon yeah, means he business here, man. Yes, the Panthers. Two. Yep. Aren't, aren't they going at it? Uh, with a vengeance oh, here, oh, Nate. Yes. Bringing things up the floor. Looking at the round, 44. Roy Cormer with the jump shot is no good. Down on the floor, it's going to be picked up. Mincy gets it underneath the Mesherikoff, lays it up, yes. The intensity that these guys are playing with early on is indicative of a team, uh, two teams that would go for a, a playoff spot. Yeah. Definitely. Here's Carter. St. John staying in the man. 5.22 left to go here in the first. Looking around, getting it up top to Whiffy. Now back to Carter, high right side. Up top it goes to Kyle Jones around the horn inside to Whiffy. Gets it up on the inside. Nice pass, Walker. That's one of the advantages of having a seven-footer out there because he got the whole St. John's defense to collapse on him. I think that's Brian Roby wearing number 17, or he don't have a 17 on the roster, so uh, I think that's Roby there. Roby drives and has a shot blocked by Whiffy. They're trying to trick you on purpose. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful day here today for uh, basketball at Bender Arena at the campus of American University. Uh, here, here, here's here's the, uh, the mystery, guys. Uh, as number 22, Greg Hunt was driving. That's going to be Randall Smedley. He has his jersey to be determined. Uh, TBD. There we they go. They have a jersey with that on it, do they? Yeah. <laughs> so Mr. Sauce Medley gets it in. D. Mincy puts it up. Shot blocked second time by Whiffy. Whiffy blocked that yeah. one, didn't he? He That's means business. Seven to six to score. It is Horizon down by one. Here's Carter. They came to play, Nate. Wild lobs it into Whiffy, has it stripped away from him. Ball control yep. is everything. By Smedley, and he's going to bring it to the floor. 
Medley crosses over in the paint, gets a touched as he heads to, towards the foul line. With the, it st strikes me as being a gentle giant kind of sort of guy. He's yeah. not going to get in your face, punch you out, or anything like that. You know what I mean? Some of these seven-foot guys, I'm sure they get they get rather testy. Well, that's a, that's actually a good point because uh, you know. In watching him in the first two games here, he didn't seem to be much of a factor where he obviously should have been as a, you know as a uh, a seven footer, and it looks like it's a much different uh, ball game here today. I think the coaches got to him and said, you know, there's, there's certain things you have to do. I think one of the things that he certainly needs to do is to make himself big in the lane, particularly on the entry passes there, because he kind of kind of crunches up in there and can, gets gets lost in the crowd. Exactly, yeah. that's true words never spoken. We noticed that a bunch of the fathers at the fathers club at uh, Gonzaga were watching him Friday night. There's a three-pointer by Trevon Van. He has five points, seven to six to score. Here's Carter bringing things down. He has it tipped away from him, coming the other way now. There's Hunt, and he has it taken away from him now, coming the other way. Here's Julius Anderson. Gets it in to Carter. Slam on the lob to Whiffy. Whiffy, he did a number there, didn't he? But yeah. uh, it, it seemed... What I was going to embark upon is uh, saying from the other night, that the first night of this tournament, the, um, his, his teammates almost wanted to keep the ball away from Withy, it seemed like. Yeah. And there's Mitzi with the long three, misses there. But he can make a difference, I'm yep. sure. Comer comes up with the rebound, now gives it up to Van. And looks it around the hunt, trying to go down low inside to Mosherikov. And it's going to be a foul call, reaching in. Is uh, Jesse McKinley. It's going to be his first. 10 to 8's our score. St. John's with the lead. Here's Mincy. Holds up. Fadeaway jump three. It's going to be no oh. good. Carter rebounds. Going to bring it up the floor now. And it's going to be tipped away. Mincy has Look it. Has the lane to the basket. Anderson on his wing. Lays it up around and good. And he was off to the races the whole way. Mincy with his first two. 12 to 8 our score. 304 left. Get a bit of a press here in the back. Well, backing off a little bit. As soon as I said that, of yep. course. <laughs> and here's Carter slowly bringing up the floor. 2.53 left to go here in the first. Carter again, high right side, top of the key. He's going to take a three, left wide open. I, I wouldn't it. do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, I, I don't think I could do it. I think it's constantly have somebody on Marquis uh, Carter. He's going to eat you alive there. Truly, truly. Here's Masherikov, turnaround jumper from eight. Yes, sir. And now here's Carter getting the pick, holds up, top of the key. He's going to pop a three again, and he misses there. Rebound knocked around. McKinney had a shot at it. Anderson had a shot at it. It goes out of bounds, and it will be St. John's basketball. It's not taking enough away from this uh, Nikita Misharikov. He's playing some seriously good ball too, Nate. Mm -hmm. Larry Smedley, high left, Hunt. Throwing, throwing a pick with, uh, and he got blocked. He yeah, got Comer. blocked by Withy. Comer got, uh, got the rebound back. Now here's Smedley again, gets a pick with Misharikov. D. Mincy drives, puts up a runner, off the iron, no good. Whiffy with a rebound. And he gives it up over to Carter. He's going to push up the floor. Right side, Anderson. Three-pointer is off the iron. Knocked up into the air. Mincy with a rebound. Now both teams running. Here's Smedley. Took a big step, had it stripped away from him. It's Carter. Has the numbers. Mosherikoff on the wing. Drives, puts it up off the glass and good. Made it easy. Carter with five points, quickly up the floor again. Here's Smedley up against Whiffy. It's going to be a foul called against Whiffy. And I think that's a good job. St. John's really just go right at Whiffy. He's playing a good game right now. And really to get him out of that game, get him in foul trouble. Yeah. As opposed to the other games we've seen today, yeah. there's a bit more on the uh, foul action today. The Horizon and St. John's than we are accustomed to. Mm -hmm. Medley at the line, and he 
misses the first, rolls right out. You know, check that, it's Trayvon Van. So for Comer will come out and Trenton Epps comes in for him. If you're local, it's not too late to come over to Bender Arena. We got loads more of good basketball. Of course, the championship game coming up and the miss by Van is taken down by Whiffy. Here's Carter. Gets it up high down inside the Whiffy, and we're gonna have a foul called. Yeah, a couple yeah. of people put their hands in Withy's face, I, face, I think. Now, Mesherikov quickly has his second foul, 103 left to go here in the first. Mesherikov yeah. could, have, could have blocked Withy there. Easiest fun. That was a miss on the three by Kyle Jones. Here comes Mesherikov. Turns, spins, leads into it off the glass. Too strong, rebound, Whiffy. That he was sure a nice did. move, just didn't yeah. get, to get the finish. He sure did look good, didn't he? There's Carter, holds up a fist, call to play. High right side from the uh, far side table. Looks at the uh, half court circle, gets it picked from McKinney, drives, throws it up, no good, and it's gonna be a foul call. And down on the floor, so not shooting foul. I think a lot of these players are going to have absolutely no trouble getting yeah. recruited in college. Now we're going to have a warning as there's a whole bunch of pushing and shoving on the inbound. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> gentle, it's gentle tell you, it's always that. the last guy going to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Carter. Around the horn, Julius Jones holds it up high right, puts on the floor, right-hand dribble, gives over to McKinney. Back to Jones at the top of the key. Man gets bumped by Hunt. It's going to be a foul call. Nineteen point three seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Eighteen seconds left on the inbounds. That'll be Carter. It's a tight game, Nate. In case you're just joining us, it's fourteen thirteen. St. John's. Of Maryland. And here comes Carter, five seconds up at the top of the key, stutter steps, drop steps, puts up the runner, and it's good. Beautiful. Just with time ending in the first. Time expires in the first 15 14. Our score for the first time. Verizon takes the lead here in this third place game of the Gonzaga DC Classic. Back with second quarter, quarter action in just a moment. an idea surprise someone with a new computer for Christmas no credit bad credit no problem now you can buy interest-free high-speed quality computer systems laptops and peripherals for your home or business for as little as $22 a month not only do we sell electronics we also sell products for the best wholesale prices around stop in today at bestsupersaver.com that's bestsupersaver.com and start your Christmas shopping now Back out again at Bender Arena as we get ready for the second quarter. It'll be St. John's with a basketball. Smedley gets the inbound from uh, Epps. Comes up on the high right to Hunt. Cross court it goes to D. Mincy. Around the horn to Antoine Smith in the game now. Looking it around. Putting on the floor underneath. And Smith gets the layup. No, he misses it there. Gets a rebound. Put back. It's going to be blocked by Whiffy. Down the floor. Throws it up. And he walks. Antoine Smith. And here's Carter bringing things up at the baseline. Looks, looks, 
Looks, still looks. Lobs, gets it into Whiffy. Turn around, jump one-hander. He gets pushed by Trev uh, Trent Epps. Wiffy at the line, he misses the first. Wiffy certainly playing a lot better tonight than he has throughout the entire tournament. And he misses the second of two. Rebound comes down to hands of Smedley as D. Mincy gets contact. Foul call. It'll be offensive foul. As Julius Anderson was standing there waiting on him. That'll be the second against Mincy. Horizon leads 15-14. Here's Carter. Gets it up to Anderson, high left. We're seven minutes left in the second quarter. Richard Walker gets it uh, right in front of the St. John's bench. Around the corner goes Carter. Up at the top of the key. Mincy on him, tighten the man. Gets it around to Walker again. Now back to Carter. Walker playing catch over the high left side. Now back to Carter at the top of the key. 22, he'll pop it. Back iron, no good. Rebound, comes down to Smedley. Smedley pushes up the floor. Gets it down underneath the Mincy for the reverse layup. A nice one by Mincy. Mincy, from Mincy with four points, 627 left. Horizon really has, uh, Nate, a, a breakneck speed here. You see how fast these guys are going? Yeah. It's amazing. And that's what they're used to in California. This is Carter drives and he gets bumped. It's like Mincy that they call with a foul. Third. That's 17 fouls, so therefore, in early in the second quarter, here's Horizon going to the line. And Carter gets the roll in the first. That's called that was six. If that uh, back backboard could have a light on it, it would say tilt. <laughs> thump, 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 thump. And getting the second is card as well. Nice action for a game here, Nate. It's 16 to 17. 17 yep. uh, Horizon being in the lead just by one. This is Medley, high left side. Gets it around in the game first time. Steve Duncan, there's a three pointer. Hunt misses. Nothing but metal. Yep. Duncan has the basketball, being harassed, now gives it over to Smedley. Around the horn, there's Hunt stutter steps, drop steps in the lane right in front of Whiffy, lays it up, no good. Whiffy with a rebound, down on the floor. It'll be picked up, Carter will bring it up. A little uh, fumble by uh, Whiffy there. Carter from 17. Very nice. Carter has a smooth shot here today, yep. it would appear. Five twenty-four left, 19-16 to score. There's Duncan around the horn to Antoine Smith at the foul line, making it there very is nice. number 50, really? Trevor Nance. Nice. Now both teams shooting very well here in this sequence. 18-19 to score. There's a rise team. Yep. Julius Anderson with you at the foul line. Carter, high right, pops three. Off the iron, no good. Tipped up into the air. Carter's able to chase it down, but he's in trouble. He's triple team. Rips it around. Judas Anderson comes up with it, leans into it, puts it from five. Yes, sir. Got it. Judas Anderson with four points. 446 left to go here in the half. There's Epps. Gets it to Duncan right in front of the horizon bench. Now around the horn it goes. Now Hunt almost lost the handle on it. Got to have ball control. Got to have it. it. Cross quarter goes as Duncan. High left side. Drop steps in the lane. Shot block again by Whiffy out of bounds. Well, one thing you can say about Jeff Whiffy is that he is a shot, block, shot blocking machine, and that's good being at seven feet. Yeah, <laughs> can't beat it with a stick. And we got a 30-second timeout. Will, he will be 
I will go so far as to say I'll bet you he may be hounded by the scouts. I would think Not so. Not just think pursued. Because, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we're talking critically about him, about, you know, some of the things that he hasn't been doing, again, making himself big in the lane, really, you know, a guy with that much of a wingspan you would – you would hope would do such a thing. All those things are coachable. So, I mean, again, one thing you can't coach is the fact that he's seven feet tall. You get a college coach on that guy. He will, yeah. he will be using his elbows in full range. Oh, yes. <laughs> be sharpening them. <laughs> with a, did, how would you say? With, um, with uh, tattoos on his elbows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a great day for uh, D.C. basketball, the high school level. It's raising great funds for uh, underprivileged people throughout the country. Sister Seton, Father Novotny, we'll be seeing them at the halftime of the uh, championship game. Yep. I get to interview Father Novotny. I'm just, I'm, I'm really honored. Always fun to see Father Lavotny and uh, Sister Seaton here, given all the good work they've done. Now the ball's knocked away. Here's Carter, gets it over to Julius Anderson. Oh, he took about five steps with it and got away with it. How did he do that? That's a neat trick. <laughs> McKinney for three, 21 feet, drains it there. Gee whiz, these guys are fearless. Twenty-four, eighteen to score. Horizon getting a little bit of a cushion. Three fifty left to go in the half. Here Smedley crosses over and he gets a hand check. It's a good thing he did get a hand check because he carried the ball as well. These players are rocking, rolling, rhythm, and strolling. Yeah. There's Epps on the inbounds. Going to take it from sixteen off the iron. No good. Rebound McKinney. Looks to get it to Carter. Carter across the timeline, right hand dribble, goes in the paint, pushes it right over to Jeff Whippy, slam. Whippy slams it, boy, I'll tell you. Wow. Whistle blows, and it'll be a timeout called. St. John's 26 18 is our score. Nate and Stefan here. It's 3.30 left in the second period. 18 to 26. Still. Tight enough that it could be anybody's ball game. Yeah, but you're seeing that uh, Horizon is kind of finding their uh, their groove that they they hope they had from the very beginning of this uh, tournament, but obviously stumbled just a bit. Uh, and you know, again, that uh, that that mysterious momentum is going their way right now. Horizon, Horizon has a uh, has a way about them. They they are very successful in California. They're I've I've heard they are state champs like four times over. Yeah. I mean they're not playing bad ball. And for St. John's of Maryland to keep up with them this well, I think is a, a, a great tribute to the coaching staff at St. John's. There's Duncan for. A the Vikings hunt three-pointer off the front of the iron, no good, and rebound easily off the floor by Whiffy. And here comes Carter bringing things up at the point. Gets it to McKinney who pops from 24 feet this time. And Almost. front iron, no good. <laughs> yeah. He was way outside the three-pointer. Quickly up the floor, does Hunt. Gives it to him, driving Trevin Van, and he is able to lay it in. Carter high left side, 26-20 to score. Horizon still with the lead. A little over two minutes left in the second. There's Carter for three, kind of dies on the back of the rim. They're relentless yep. in their pursuit of the threes. Van going coast to coast. <laughs> That's nine points for Trevon Van. Aren't they relentless, uh, re re relentless yep. eight? Say that five times real quick. <laughs> They're not afraid of that three three point swoosh. Swing it around. All right, there's Carter backing up. Looking for a pick from McKinney. Oh, nice one. Nice pick. Driving and has it blocked away from him by Smedley. That'll be a foul call. That's Trayvon Vance. Don't forget to stay with us right after this is the championship game. St. Francis against the Eagles of Gonzaga High School. 
As Carter at the line, he gets the first. Well, if you're looking at a all-tournament team possible selection from Horizon, uh, can, I can safely say you look no further than number 25 there, Marquise Carter. Yeah, he, he's been a standout in this whole tournament, to be honest with you. There's Van, left side just inside the arc. Breaks it there, rebound Anderson. Talent is oozing out all over this court. These players are playing with, with great aplomb. And the speed. I can't yeah. say enough about the speed. Oh, there is a nice move by Withy underneath to get around Withy. Epps. I'd say Withy is with it. What body snatcher took this guy? <laughs> because he finally showed up today. Here's Epps. Drives. Runner. Fade away. Man, it's going to be partially Nothing blocked by Withy. That's going to be a foul against Withy. And I believe that's his second or could be his third. Second, second foul. foul. Well, that's okay. That means well, he's getting a little more physical than he was the well, other I night. If, 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 you, if you can get him out of the half with just two fouls, then uh, you know you have a good shot at uh, keeping him in the game for a bit. True. And making the first is Epps. Trent Epps, the junior, 6'6". Six, six. Hey, misses the second to two. Rebound comes down into the hands of Richard Walker. Hands on to Carter. Carter stutter steps, looks, backs up, three-pointer. Good by number four, Kyle Jones. 104 left. There's a wide open Duncan underneath. Somehow he was able to get way ahead of Julius Anderson. Less than a minute left. 33-25. Horizons on top. 33-25 the score. Here's Kenny. Kenny gets it around with Richard Walker. Carter dealing with Hunt. Go up top, Anderson, 23-footer. It's off the iron. Rebound comes down to Smith. He's going to push it up the floor. 38 seconds left. Cross corner goes as Antoine Smith puts on the floor, backs up, high right side, Duncan. Around the horn, Smedley thinks about his stutter steps, drives in the paint, puts it up off the glass. Good to foul! And check that. That is uh, Trevin Van. Did D. Mency ever fix his, uh, his wardrobe malfunction on the numbering? Well, that actually, that turned out to be uh, the TBD, Mr. Randall Smedley. 27-30, ah. 33-27 uh, to score. Here's Walker. Started stepping up against Hunt. Using the clock. Yep. Look at these guys. They want to go back to the locker room with a 33-27. Uh, oh, that's Carter. Better. May use Hunt, but he couldn't get the finish. All oh. goes for not. Here's Van. Comes in. Right side. At the buzzer. No good. We half time but what a half it has been. And certainly a different squad out here from California in Horizon. They lead St. John's 33-27 at the half. Halftime activities and soon We'll be back with the second half tip off in just a moment. This is the Gonzaga DC Classic on All In Broadcasting and U.S. Sports Networks. A winner in the game of life. Back out again, second half action underway. 37-23 uh, is our score. Horizon with the lead in the basketball. There's Whiffy. Turnaround jump, no good. But a foul call. That'll go against Epps. Of course, joining you is uh, Nate Lewis doing our play-by-play. -play. I'm Stefan Monica. We're doing, I'm doing some of the color here, giving you a little bit of uh, depth as to what's going on. Jeff Whiffy is so, with it. Yep. <laughs> Hey, but he misses the first there. And, he but hasn't that, that's great that's, with that. That's not so unusual. We've seen a lot of uh, unfortunate foul shooting in this tournament. Indeed. If we had four first half points, and he still stays at four. He misses them both there. Comes up empty. Opportunity now for St. John's. Hunt gets it around to Masherikov. Up top to Epps. Back to Hunt again. 
Looks, tries to loop it underneath. Withy, Withy yep. knocks it away. Yep. And it's Carter coming out with it now. Just blowing by everybody, laying it up and good. I mean, he just said, like, I'm, I'll, I'll take this. Please get out of my way. <laughs> Mincy drives, and he answers on the other end. A veritable shootout fest here, folks. That's D. Mincy with six points. Here's Whiffy up at the top of the key. Looks seven minutes left here in the third quarter. Gets it around to Carter. Pump fake. Just two guys up in there. Gets it underneath him in, to uh, Whiffy. Whiffy. He lost the handle on it. Had it made partially blocked. Puts it back up. And uh, this time he gets fouled. You know, just like uh, early on when it looked like St. John's was taking the game to Whiffy to try to get him in there. Some early foul trouble. By the same token, if you take the game to him offensively, he's got so many limbs all over the place, you're going to end up hitting something if you don't get the ball. And he gets the first. Well, Comer comes in the game for Epps. There's a second offering by Whiffy. He misses it there. I meant hard. Yeah. Man when comes up with a rebound. As Mincy pump fakes. Drives, dribbles back out, outside the yard, gets it up top to Hunt, puts on the floor, right-hand dribble, down underneath the Comer, up against uh, Whiffy, and every single time, you're going to get blocked just like that. Down the floor it goes as Hunt is able to st the steal. Gets it to Van's hand, right outside the arc, dealing against Carter, and now we got a whistle blowing. Foul called away for the basketball. The guards and the forwards from St. John's, boy, are they playing ball today, huh? Yep. And they're sure-handed too, Nate. Underneath it goes Mishirikov. It looks nice move as he there got he around, around Walker. The clock. Yep, a, wa a Walker and also Whiffy. What a nice move. 36 31 to score, and Horizon with the lead. Here's Whiffy. Holds, puts on the floor, dealing against Comer, hands off. Julius Anderson in the paint, drop steps, fadeaway jumper is gone, and a foul. No, they're going to wave it off. No foul? Or no point. Yeah, okay, they, they got they got the foul. Okay. But the uh, bucket. Bucket did not yeah. count. And they're not in the bonus, yeah, obviously. Yeah, they're not even putting them in active shooting, so. Well, Look I guess it was. Yeah, there's Carter, gets hung up in the air. Carter wants a three. Yeah. Pretty bad here, Nate. Anderson drops that drive, lays it up around Beauty. the good. What a nice move. <laughs> Anderson split the defenders. 38-31 to score. Here's Mincy driving, turning, spinning, double pumps, no good. Knocked up into the air. Second time, third time. Mesherikov puts on the floor, spins, jump hook around, no good. Still up in the air and down into the hands of a Carter. Well, with Whiffy in there defensively, he just makes you alter every single shot there. And even though he didn't get a block on that last, uh, that's a turnaround jumper by Whiffy. He rolls it in. I was saying, he, he just, he, even though he doesn't necessarily get the block there, he calls an alteration to the point where, you know, you, the, 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 that you're going to be off more and more times than not. True, true. That was a tongue twister if they ever heard one with with the in there. Yeah. <laughs> Say that five times real quick. As D. Mincy with a three-pointer, he misses there, but a foul call. If you're local, you still have a load of chances to get over here to see uh, great basketball live at Bender Arena. Mm -hmm. I know it, you folks at, uh, in California may not be able to do so. Bless your hearts anyway. There's Van, he pops from 12, no good. The rebound put back by Masherikov is good. It's gonna be a foul called. That's gonna go ag against number 32, Jeff McKinney, and he looks like he can't believe it when it was obviously a push. But I guess you're supposed to do that. It's part of the theatrics, I think. Yeah. Jerichoff makes completes it. Completes three-point play. He's a lefty, huh? Yep. Coming the other way now. It's Carter. Carter, Horizon. I think he has yet to sit down here. Horizon's number 19 in California. That's that's not too shabby, Nate. Yep. Coming the other way. Here's Hunt. Dealing against Anderson. Puts it up off the glass. Good in the foul. 
He got contact uh, with the body with Kyle Jones. I thought uh, Max Kenyi of uh, Gonzaga had spindly legs. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Kyle Jones is a thin fellow. One of those guys that you hope is going to grow into his body one day. <laughs> There's Hunt, who completes a three-point play. Or, check that, gets a shot to roll. It's 40-37 now. St. John's have worked their way back into this game. Here's Carter. Near the half-court line, crosses over. Looks for help, gets into McKinney at the top of the key, around Julius Anderson, lobs underneath the whippy, touch pass, goes down underneath the Walker, lays it up and good. Rich Walker with his second bucket of the day. Here's Hunt, dealing, double pump, shot block again by Whiffy. I believe that's about the fifth block we've seen above Whiffy here in Tell this game. Tell you what, Nate, this guy is getting testy. Did you see, I saw the look in his face. He yeah. wanted, he's trying to form an iron curtain around that, that uh, basket. With he is. Very uh, nice work by Horizon. And Masherikov backs up, double team, still in trouble. Gets over to, uh, to Comer at the foul line. D. Mincy, high right side, puts on the floor, left hand dribble. Gets a pick from the foul line. It is no good. Did and he get... foul call against McKinney. And he still looks like he can't believe it. <laughs> 32, Jesse McKinney, only personal defender's his third. That's his third foul. D. Mincy at the line for two shots. D. Mincy, the senior. Just 3.55 left in the third period. Gets the first. Now it's D. Mincy. St. John's climbing up with 38 points. Now 39. Yep, it's a three-point lead and full-court pressure. Nate, I tell you what, this could be anybody's game. And Walker gets it to two. Whiffy at the, the half-court line. No, and he throws it right into the hands of Hunt. Big opportunity here for St. John's. Here's Van, drives, double pump, off the iron, around, no oh. good. Knocked up into the every share call. Puts it back, shot blocked by Whiffy. And saved by Julius Anderson. No, it's going to be St. John's basketball. You're going to get to the point, really, when, again, with a guy who's uh, who's in the zone, as it were, blocking shots like this. You're going to get to the point where you're just not, you know, you're going to, you're going to throw your shot up there and kind of close your eyes afterwards. Just, you know, <laughs> and hope for the best. see if you broke any glass or anything, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, Schoolboy basketball at yep. its finest, <laughs> folks. I'll tell you what. It's Comer. Mincy for three for the tie. No good. It didn't go in, yeah. but he had fine form. Oh, there's Hunt. Lays it back up. That's no good as well. Long rebound. Knocked around. Down on the floor. It's going to be a scrum for him. Oh, there's McKinney. Comes up with it. Puts it over to Carter. Carter, one on one. Comes in right side. Puts it up off the glass. Good to foul. And talk about guys who are in the zone right now. Marquise Carter. Sorry about that. It's all right. Unofficially, that's 15 Carter points for Marquise Carter. He's rocking. And make it 16 as he gets the roll. There's D. Mincy dealing against McKinney. Lost a handle on it, but Hunt's right there in between the circles. Gets over the van, dealing right in front of the scores table. 3 0 3 left. 45 39 to score. Horizon nursing a six point lead. Van looks, spins, gives it inside to Comer, has a shot oh. partially blocked again by Whiffy. Whiffy has got, he's a formidable opponent here. There's in this Carter game. again driving and getting a lot of contact and a foul. Carter right now, just about single handedly taking the game to St. John's right now. Third foul against Hunt. He may be coming out of the game right now as Epps is set to come in. Carter. And he gets it there. Back on the fourth of the Lightning, number 50, Trenton Epps. Roy 
Comer going out for St. John's. Interesting game here, Nate. This is much more than what I bargained for. The intensity of these guys, yep. they're taking it to the wood. Carter gets them both. They're driving the other way. Basharikov drops it in. Two twenty-three left to go in the third quarter. 47-41. Horizon with the lead. Here's Carter. This is a dandy Bob's of a game. Down underneath the whiffy, who puts it up and good. Nice strong move. Sherikov pump fakes outside the arc, stops, leans into it, puts it up and good. How about that move? Yeah. The only problem here, St. John's is trading baskets with uh, with, with the horizon right now, and that's uh, that's the reason why you still have a six-point lead. Yeah, but they're going to have to break away. Yeah, they're going to have to stop. They, yeah. yeah. Well, not only stop horizon, but they're going to have to start pumping in some of these easy shots. St. John's has to. As McKinney. Gives it Anderson, hands off to uh, Whiffy up at the top. Richard Walker, bank shot, no good. Straight away into the hands of Kenny, puts it back up. No good, but a foul call. There you go. This time it'll go against Van. And he can't believe it. He can't believe it. Palms up in the air. Yep. Ah, uh, the theatrics of it all. Uh, here we are at the Gonzaga DC Classic, and... Uh, well, one of my favorite Gonzaga grads has walked in, Matt Gentilcore, who will be calling the championship game with me. And I'm going to step aside so I can go on the floor and talk to uh, Father Novotny and uh, Sister Seton about their works. McKinney gets the first. And, you know, it's amazing Matt Gentilcore is such a sports fan because, really, most of the jocks stuffed him in, into the lockers and whatnot. And, uh, you know, you think it would be traumatizing to step onto a court. You mean you're the only, not the only one that did that, too? My helmet was stuck one time when I uh, no, I'm just kidding. As Hunt, who drives, puts it up as good. 119 up to go in the third. 50 to 45 is our score. It's anybody's game still, Nate. Gee whiz. As McKinney looks, holds, puts on the floor. Very deliberate work yep. by uh, Horizon here. They don't want to give it away. As Walker at 101, three-pointer. It's going to be off. Rebound, Mischerikoff right in front of Whiffy. It's across the floor. Mincy left open. He lost oh. the handle on it out of bounds. A very pretty move by number 15, D. Mincy. But he just couldn't hang on, hang on to it. So we're down to 50 seconds left, and Horizon will hold for the last shot. That's in the third, of course. Yep. we got still another quarter of basketball left before the really big one. That I know you all have been waiting to hear and see. 36 seconds, here's Julius Anderson, lobs into Whiffy, knocked around, it's going to be taken away by Mascherikov, but it'll be a foul called against Mascherikov. And he's not too happy about it. Yeah, look, look like a good steal from here. Yeah, I thought I mean, so. you got some contact, and again, you know, that's just one of those things you could, you could have called a foul, or you just could have just let that go, but... But you can see, again, as we mentioned at the top, I mean, Jeff Whiffy certainly is a different ball player in this game here as opposed to what we saw last night. Very much so, as opposed to the whole tournament so far. Yeah. Somebody put a quarter in Jeff Whiffy, and they got a triple play here. The guy is rocking. Yeah, playing a lot stronger. Misses the chance Still of the one-on-one there. Three. Lost the handle down on the floor. It's going to be a scramble for jump ball possession arrow at St. John's. Down to 29.7 seconds left. And here comes Trevon Van. Holds gets it to Mincy. Up on the high right. 18 seconds left. Looks, gets it around. That's Epps back up to Van. Hunt, three-pointer right side is off. Oh, just, just uh. barely missed. And here comes Carter. Five seconds left. Turns in the paint. Puts up a runner. Good. With one second, and that'll do it for the third. 52 to 45, our score as the Horizon team was able to maintain the advantage. Last quarter coming up here in this third place game. You're watching the Gonzaga DC Classic on All In Broadcasting 
and U.S. Sports Networks. Effective radio, TV, web, and print advertising for businesses of all sizes. Go to www.ussportsradio.com and click on Advertise. A pre-order your DVD or VHS copy of today's game right now. Log on to ussportsradio.com and click on Books and Video. Back out again at Bender Arena in this third place game. The Horizon Panthers leading the Vikings of St. John's Catholic Prep of Maryland. They're trying their hardest, both of these teams. And again, if St. John's wants to have a shot at winning this one, they got to stop trading baskets. They got to get a stop. They can do it right now. Here's Carter. Gets it up to Anderson. It's Horizon with the basketball. And, well, the Horizon will help you out with a traveling violation. How right you are, Nate. There's Van. Gets it to Mincy. Three-pointer. Big shot here. Misses oh, there. Just and a missed. rebound comes out and into the hands of Van. He lost the handle. It's going to be knocked away out of bounds. And it will remain St. John's basketball. Those guys with the uh, fixed lenses in the end zone are doing a great job. Gary Glover and his brigade shagging loose balls. <laughs> There's Misharikov taking a long time, gets it in the hands of Van. A little traffic jam going on there. Yeah, but if they if they slow the pace down just a pinch, something tells me one of these teams is gonna pr proceed. There's Van pops from 14, misses there way off. And I think he was frustrated by his teammates just kind of being in the middle of things there and uh, has thought about that too much. It looked like True. that kind of shot was that he had something else on his mind. True. There's True. Julius Anderson gets it up to Carter. High right side, puts on the floor, top of the key. Three-pointer is good. Poetry in motion on that one. Yep. That's 20 points for Marquise Carter. And a whistle blow is going to be a turnover violation. It's going to be a timeout call. Full timeout, we'll take one as well with 7.06 up to go in regulation, 55-45 our score with Horizon leading. You're watching the Gonzaga DC Classic on All In Broadcasting. Lose those unwanted pounds and look and feel great. Advanced weight loss is specially formulated for those with busy lifestyles. Only the best ingredients are used. Three delicious, instantly mixable flavors are available. Order yours today. Go to www.ussportstore.com and click on wellness and nutrition right now. That's www.ussportstore.com for advanced weight loss. Hi, everybody. This is Tom Van Hoy, host of D2 Game Day, inviting you to join us this year for nationwide I coverage have. of Division II football. We're back out again at Bender Arena. Nate Lewis. Step and Monica. Monica. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's all right. Step on your line. <laughs> Here's Carter bringing things down to point. Man defense being deployed by St. John's and driving. Nope. And walking. Have you noticed how Fremont, and Horizon, they seem to be, I would imagine they're leading this tournament in travel violations. I think they call a little different in California. Nikita is hurt. I think he yeah. twisted something. He's going to try to run it off. Bless his heart. And so St. John's taking over. Down by 10 with 6.50 left. That's D. Mincy, high right side. He gives it a driving hunt, gives it back up to Epps. Cross scored up high left. Now Masherikov turns, spins, leads into it, and it's going to be blocked, but a foul called. That was that clash of the Titans I was talking about. You see the two centers battle for that ball? Yep. With Withy knocking it out. They've turned.
turned up the gas on on progressively all day long. Yeah. Every game has gotten better and better. Final crescendo for the uh, final championship should be real red hot. And switching it through is Masherikov. Nikita Masherikov gets the second. And a little full court pressure being put on. Here's Carter, 101 against Epps, gives it over to Julius Anderson, pump fake, backs up outside the arc, left side, now bring it between the circles, gives it up uh, to Carter at the half court circle. Back around to Wiffy, who hands off McKinley for three, it's gonna be no good, rebound to Epps. Another opportunity here for St. John's is Misharikov, stutter steps in the paint, gives it over to Hunt, drives baseline, fadeaway jumper, off the iron, around and good, what a nice shot. Nice. Very nice. Greg Hunt with Johns. five points. Coming the other way, it's going to be a steal. And Van tries to put it back up, but he gets a foul. You know, Nate, some of the fun in watching this tournament year after year, you look back and you see some of these names like D. Medzi and Julius Anderson yep. and Marquise Carter and, and um, Greg Hunt, Travon Van. You're going to see these names in college ball. Van gets the first, and of course, you know, not to mention those that we have seen before as well. That's what I'm saying. Because you know? they've got, we even have some people that have been in the NBA yes, that indeed. have come by the DC Classic who have played as schoolboys. And getting them both to hunt. It's 55 51. Here's Carter, gets a little elbow in the Epps. Should have been a foul, but he uh, gets the bucket. He put an elbow straight into Epps. Uh, Epps, all you gotta do is act a little bit. He would have got, gotten called in, but nonetheless, it ends up being a bucket. 57 51. 547 left. Van gets it to Mincy. Backs up right side outside the arc. Gets McKinley. The, it, it looks like uh, Horizon in a little bit of a matchup zone. They back off into a man. as Van that puts it up, gets a shot blocked. That's either gonna be Carter or Whiffy with the, with the call. Oh, that's what would have called. That'll be his third. And Van with another opportunity. And he gets the roll in the first. Van's having a very nice game here. Mm -hmm. And the key to this is what, Nate? Get the ball in the basket. Yes, no. indeed, but he misses there. <laughs> that gummit. <laughs> True. Over and over, we keep seeing the, the results of yep. missed foul shots and missed layups. Golly. That, but go ahead. Yeah, we got another timeout here on the floor. We're taking one as well. 535 is going regulation here in this third place game. 57-52. Our score, Horizon holding on to the lead. You're watching the Gonzaga DC Classic with All In Broadcasting and U.S. Sports Networks. It's a dandy. Online, now. you're listening to All In Broadcasting, the ultimate streaming company. Hey, here's an idea. Surprise someone with a new computer for Christmas. No credit, bad credit, no problem. Now you can buy interest-free, high-speed quality computer systems, laptops, and peripherals for your home or business for as little as $22 a month. Not only do we sell electronics, we also sell products for the best wholesale prices around. Stop in today at bestsupersaver.com. That's bestsupersaver.com and start your Christmas shopping now. Well, have a good old time here at this Gonzaga DC Classic 18th Annual Edition. Nate Lewis doing the play-by-play. -play. I'm Stefan Monaco on color. And Whiffy gets the inbounds. He's going to be double-teamed. Full-court pressure being put on now by St. John's. It's McKinney. Gets it to Carter. 526 left. We're watching some good basketball here. Here's Whiffy. Gets it around left side to Julius Anderson. Backs up outside the arc. Looks. Looks, holds, hands off to Whiffy. Whiffy looks, puts on the floor, stops, tries to bring it up. It's going to get a whole lot of contact. That might be Epps or Misharikov. Misharikov looks like he's awfully guilty. <laughs> and then all bets yep. are off. Epps, Epps, Epps has filed out. Now, Epps is one of those guys that would at least qualify as a big man for St. John's. He's out of the game now. Is that number five for him? 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Gave him the hook. There is a veritable fortune of resources for this DC Classic, not only on the web to watch this in time to come. They've got uh, still photos with a troop of photographers, crackerjack ace photographers taking photos of this tournament. You can't miss it. Whiffy at the line, shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. He misses, rebound. Comes down in the hands of Van. He's going to bring it quickly up the floor. With the number separately, gives it into Mincy. Mincy with the reverse layup is going to be no good, but a foul call is going to go against McKinley. And McKinley, that's either his fourth or his fifth. He may be done. Yes, his fourth foul. Interesting. There's Mincy. Shots on the way, and he misses there. I. Here we you go know, again, just can't Nate. say enough. I mean, you know, you really have to hit those free throws. That's why they're free. And again, the second of two. It's Mincy, 57-53, 5 6 left. Here, bringing it up the floor. Whiffy's bringing it up the floor. He's double teamed. He double teamed, whistle blows, and a timeout called. It'll be a timeout. That's, of a, that's a shame, the strategically, that when they yeah. gang up on somebody, then they call a timeout. That, well, that's such a breakneck part of the, the game anymore. Yeah. Well, we'll keep things right here with the timeout ensuing. 4.59 left, 57.53 off score. Of course, in the championship game, the Gonzaga Purple Eagles will be taking on St. Francis out of Baltimore in that tough MIAA conference. Plenty of good jam-packed basketball there, but you'll see me at halftime talking to Sister Seton and the Father Novotny, who are the two major domos in the scheme of things with uh, Men for Others at Gonzaga. That's our, our trademark. And the, the funding and everything, the proceeds of this tournament go to help people, indigent people around the world, around the country. Well, I know the Bible teaches us that we're not supposed to actually know who the angels are, but I tell you what, Sister Seton is pretty darn close. <laughs> wonderful lady, absolute wonderful lady. And Father yeah, Monty, he's not too shabby. No, he's not bad either. No, yeah. <laughs> he could be the angel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's going to do a lot of good work here, and uh, certainly, you know, this tournament, as we mentioned time and time again, it's great to see the basketball, but there's a deeper meaning here as well. Exactly, Nate. Well put. Here's Anderson bringing things in, 454 left. Whiffy at the top of the key, puts on the floor, left-hand dribble, gives it over to Carter, just inside the arc, and he drains it there. He has been unstoppable all game long. He's got such a nice touch, too, doesn't he? 22 points. There's a three-pointer, Minson. They need that here, he's going to miss it. Wow, and Whiffy with the rebound, of course. Here's Carter bringing things up the floor. Whiffy looks, whistle blows, and he walks with it. Who walks? He backed Whiffy? with. Unbelievable. Where? I don't I know. I think he had an extra toe move. <laughs> I know he's a long fella, but come on. <laughs> Poor Whiffy. All right, well. He'll get the ball back. Referee was, watch. Hey, look, look, the referee was right there. <laughs> There's a three-pointer by Hunt. Another shot needed here, and they're missing. Rasherikov with the rebound. Turn, spins. Shot blocked by Whiffy into the hands of Carter. How many is that? That's got to be seven. I'd say 15. Yeah, could be. <laughs> Whiffy holds up on the high right. 59-53 to score. There's Anderson up the top against Hunt. He drives, stops, puts up a jumper, and just good. Right? And now, now it's getting just too easy for Horizon. Whiffy has got to be an honorable mention in this tournament for blocking doggone shots yeah. just in this game alone. There's Masharikov popping the three as well. Oh, that was a good try. Looks in the hands of Van. He stops. You hand, tries to hand off to Mishericov. Goes out of bounds. Yeah. <coughs> Do you agree about that with the idea? The guy is just all arms. I had a pet yeah. octopus that wasn't as army as <laughs> Look at him. I know. And he just uh, grabs the ball out of the air. And, again, you know, that's quite an advantage to have at the high school level. He won't get away with that at the college level where there might be other seven-footers out there, other big men. True. But certainly not in the pros either. Yeah, right now you can take advantage of it. There's yeah. Carter. Lost a handle on it. Behind the back as he tries to get around Van. Now he brings up the floor, high right side. As McKinley backs up, right side outside the arc. 
Around to Richard Walker, into Whiffy. Turn around, jump, bank shots, no good. Knocked up into the air. Mishcherikov comes up with it and coming the other way now. Are the Vikings of St. John's. There's Mishcherikov, loops it up and good. Problem is that took him almost two minutes to get a bucket. 61-55 on the Boy, inbound. There's Whiffy. St. John's guys are knocked out of the running here. Yeah, knocked into the hands of Carter. Pumps once, puts it up off the glass, and it's good. But no, they're going to wave it off. He, he walks. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Hey, did you see the way Verizon, I mean, uh, Verizon uh, locked their chances? Yep. Oh, he got, yeah. Yeah, he got his hands on Yeah, that was uh, Sherikov grabbing hold of Richard Walker. It's still, St. John's has not come up with a way to stop a horizon at all. I mean, they, you know, they, again, they're, they're, they're doing what they need to do offensively. They got a timeout called. Yeah, Verizon, Verizon means more and more and more business. Horizon does now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a full timeout. We'll take one here as well with 2.39 left to go in regulation. 61-57, our score. This is the Gonzaga DC Classic on All-In Broadcasting. Hey, you have a business? You need customers. Then try this. Nice offers. The smart new way to create new customers for your business. You pay only for results. If Nice Offers NOC doesn't generate new customers and results for you, you pay nothing. Why pay for expensive advertising that might create new customers when NOC guarantees sales or you pay nothing? NOC equals no risk. Go to ussportsradio.com and click on the Nice Offers button on the left-hand side of the page now. Listen up. Earning $100,000 a year is just as easy as $15,000 when you know how www.ussportstore.com click on the affiliate link you're listening to all in broadcasting, all in broadcasting. the ultimate streaming company two minutes 39 seconds left here 61 57 is our score Nate Lewis along with Stefan Monica and whether it's Horizon or Verizon <laughs> they're winning right now And you're welcome for the free plug, Verizon. Uh, they even look like my bill, these uh, uniforms. <laughs> yeah. You ever notice that? Hell yeah. The bill I get in the, in the mail every month. Richard Walker gets the first and the second here. This is a dandy of a game if you're just joining us. 57-63. Horizon's on top. Horizon, of course, from San Diego, California. There's Misharikov, gets it into Mincy, Mincy double pumps it up and gets the bucket in the end one. That's going to go against Whiffy with 2.26 left. And again, St. John's is not out of this game at all. No. They're kicking and scratching. And getting the three-point play is Mincy. 63-60. Anybody's game here, Nate. Full court pressure. McKinley in trouble, in deep trouble. And it's going to be a timeout called. Another pressure play for yep. the timeout. Look at that. The guy got cornered. 30-second timeout called, uh, the Panthers. And so we'll keep things right here with 2.18 uh, left to go here in this semifinal. I'll check that, the uh, third-place game. Of course, the championship takes place. Gonzaga will be taking on St. Francis of Baltimore. you got to join us for that one. That's going to be a great game. Let's see uh, some of the uh, gentlemen and uh, others of uh, WZAG, the campus stadium uh, TV station. Of course, they, uh, they took care of all the production duties in day one and day two of this tournament and did an impeccable job. Great kids, and I was shocked to see as an adult the uh, prowess of these kids doing play-by-play. -play. Yes, indeed. Nate, your job is not safe. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I was one of those kids. Those <laughs> kids were sharp. Here's Carter bringing things down the point, gives it over down to Whiffy up at the top of the key. He's going to hold, looks, still looks, now puts on the floor. 
Here's it to Carter. Baseline double team. Now dribbles back out in front of the horizon bench. Now looking for Whiffy underneath. Gives it to Whiffy in the lob underneath the Richard Walker. Double pumps high off the glass around. No good. Walker gets the rebound. Put back up. That's no good as well. Third down. It comes out of the hands of Comer. He hands off to Van. Van with the numbers. Drives up off the glass and good. Now it's a one-point lead for and Horizon. Taken away by Mincy. Chance for the lead. Down on the baseline. Turns. Gives it up now to Hunt. He stops. Comer hangs it around. And now resetting the offense. Good job. Good discipline exactly. by St. John's. They really could have gotten themselves in trouble after that steal. There's Mincy. Three-pointer for the lead. It's going to go no good. And Whiffy comes up with the rebound. Goes out of bounds. And it will be St. John's Whiffy. basketball with yes. 119 left. The momentum is swinging right to St. John's right now. Unbelievably so. On the inbounds is Comer. Takes it from eight. Same oh. misses there. One thirteen left. Horizon's protecting yeah. that ball. Wow. Oh, here's Carter. Hands off to Whiffy. Slam! And the bucket and the foul! Whoa! 44. It's going to be an intentional foul call as well. Roy Comer, he would he tried to knock Withy down, <laughs> unbelievably. But Withy played. Yep. Did he did he jam it or what? I think he put a little power into that. Now he's uh, he's not the thickest guy in the world, but <laughs> certainly shows some strength there. And again, I mean you know you know this just shows I think everybody who has seen this tournament just how coachable Withy is because he didn't look like this type of player in two games thus far. Truly. Yep, he misses That's the first. That's exactly right. Yep. They missed. You, gotta, you can't miss these free throws or the easy, easy, easy layups. I got to imagine the aggregate free throw percentage, I mean, of all these teams in this tournament, is not very good. Getting the second is whiffy. However, we are watching uh, coming up the championship game. Right. Let's see if that changes. I bet it might. So just like that, it's Horizon takes the four-point lead as Carter comes in on the right side after getting the basketball. Less than a minute now yes. on the fourth. There's Van Drys, puts up shot block by Whiffy. That's been the name of the game, and Carter brings it down. 52 seconds, Drys gets contact, puts it up off the glass, and good, and the foul. That's going to go against Masherikov. And Horizon, I believe they know they've had themselves a good game, 70-62. to 62. St. John's had such a crescendo of power just less than a minute ago, yep. and now it's all gotten drained. But they're, they're troopers. The St. John's prospect hall players are, are troopers. Got to remember who they're playing against. They're playing yep. against the top-rated team from California. It, it doesn't get much, much better than that. Carter misses the chance three-point play. Richard Walker with the putback. How about that? Wow, Richard Walker, the only Horizon player down there and surrounded by three of the St. John's players, and he gets the bucket. Capitalized on it. Yeah. 37 seconds left. Here's Hunt, backs up. Here's St. John's cannot take much time here. They got to shoot it. Here's Mincy, three-pointer. Off the iron, no good. 29 seconds left, and there's Whiffy. Gets a lot of contact. Goes over to Julius Anderson. Yeah, we got a 10-point game here. Yep, and Horizon getting reached into with 23.1 seconds left. Good shape. Horizon's in great shape. But it looks like St. John's has thrown in the towel. But you know what, though? I'll tell you what, Nate. I don't think they went out without a fight. Yep. St. John's did a great job today. Well, Julius Anderson, who's had a pretty solid game with eight points, he misses there. And then... And he misses the second as well. Comer comes up the rebound. Mincy, 20 seconds left. They got to shoot. Rolls and puts it up and in. Makes it an eight-point lead. 13 seconds left as Whiffy holds. Throws it deep and throws it away into the hands of Antoine Smith. He's picking up Six some steam. Left. Yep, uh, this game's over. Yeah. There's a three-pointer by Smith. He misses there. And that'll do it in third place. Taken by Horizon High School. 
of California, San Diego, California, indeed. And now the championship game is coming up, so stick around for that, folks. And Steve Monica, Nate, what a great job. Thank All you right, so very much, Nate. And, uh, I'm glad to share this speakers with you. We look forward to hearing from you in the championship game here as well. Championship game coming up next, so you want to stick around for that. Once again, 72-64, our final score, Horizon, over St. John's Prospect Hall. We'll be back with more action on the Gonzaga DC Classic in just a moment.